everybody. My name is Bobby and I'm just another reactor here on YouTube. And today I'm going to be reacting to Annette Olsen, Parasite. And before I get to this reaction, I just want to remind you all to please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. And if you care to support my channel, there's a PayPal link in the description or you can leave a tip through the Brave browser which is a cryptocurrency browser. But donations to my channel are not necessary. They're not required. You can watch my videos for free. But any support for this channel is greatly appreciated. Now, for those of you who've seen some of my earlier reactions when I first started this channel, I mentioned a few times that I was a fan of Nightwish and that I pretty much know all their music and I got into Nightwish before I even thought of uh, starting a reaction channel, even though I discovered Nightwish by watching reaction videos, but I would watch the video first and then the reaction video. Uh, but band I really like a lot, and I even reacted to uh, While Your Lips Are Still Red by Nightwish uh, in my one of my earlier videos because it was a music video I'd never seen before, but I knew the song. But anyway, when I started this channel, I was thinking, well, eventually, because I'm a Nightwish fan, I was going to react to some songs by Annette and Taria, which are the previous vocalists for Nightwish, uh, Taria being the first and that being the second. Uh, but then I kind of got into this rabbit hole of discovering these new bands and music from Japan that I didn't think was going to blow up like it did. So this uh, reacting to Taria and Annette kind of got put to the back burner a little bit. But I finally decided, you know, it's, it's time to do it because honestly being the big Nightwish fan that I am, I haven't heard many of the projects outside of the members or ex-members uh, Nightwish music. You know, there's a few exceptions. I reacted to one Ori song, even though I've never heard any other Ori song, which is Tomasa's band with Troy and Tomasa's wife. And I also, uh, I've heard one of Marco's songs that has to do with his father. I don't remember the name of that song. I heard it a couple of years ago. I uh, never reacted to it because I'd already heard it. But haven't heard anything else from Marco or Annette or Taria, so uh, after this reaction I'm going to do a Taria video next, but without further ado, this is my reaction now to Parasite by Annette Olsen. Okay, before I get into that next part, uh, man, this is pretty damn heavy. Uh, I didn't know what path Annette took after she was uh, out of Nightwish. Uh, I don't know if she got fired or if she quit. There's a little bit of 
different stories to that. Uh, but yeah, I didn't know what path she took afterwards, and, and it looks like she stayed with the heavy music. Uh, this sounds really good, actually. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is that, you know, Nightwish, uh, for those of y'all that know, is my favorite band now. They kind of overtook Black Sabbath as my favorite band. Black Sabbath was my favorite band for decades, really, when I was growing up. And uh, when I started listening to Nightwish, uh, especially the version with Floor, uh, they just became my favorite band and still are to this day. Uh, that's just my opinion, but they're great. But I wanted to say too that, you know, the albums with Taria are amazing as well. You know, she's an awesome singer as well, but she's more of an opera style. And it seems like that's mostly what she did was opera. And then Annette, out of the three, is my least favorite, but that doesn't mean that she was a bad singer because Dark Passion Play and Imaginarium are great albums and she sings really good in those albums. And there are certain songs that fit her well, like Scare Tale. I mean, Scare Tale is perfect for Annette and I don't think even Flora could sing it better than she does, which is probably a reason they've never played it live, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, um, Annette's voice is really good. It just didn't fit Nightwish quite well. Uh, even though that my favorite song by Nightwish is The Poet and the Pendulum, uh, the, the version from Wembley with Floor singing, of course, but even uh, Annette's version on Dark Passion Play is really good. I was surprised when I first heard that at how well she sang it. She sang it really good. But just other songs by Nightwish that were on either Imaginarium or especially Dark Passion Play, to me just, I don't know, her, her voice, even though it was good, just didn't seem like a Nightwish type of voice. But, but there are the exceptions, like I said. But this song here sounds really good and her voice sounds good i don't know who that guy was at the beginning let me know in the comments if you know but i'm going to continue with this i'm not even halfway through with it Before that part, uh, I just wanted to say that this music here seems better suited for her voice. Uh, you know, a lot of people talk about how she has kind of the pop rock type of voice, uh, but I think she has a good voice for metal. Uh, this not being so symphonic metal like Nightwish, that's why I didn't feel she fit with Nightwish very well because to me, for symphonic metal, you need somebody, male or female, with a powerful voice. That's just my opinion. And she just didn't have that power in her voice. But uh, but she does have a good voice. And for just like hev heavy music like this, I think she sounds great. Let's see what else she does here. Some kind of weird little thing was coming up here. I'm not sure what they're going to do here.
Well, that was Annette Olsen with Parasite. And that was actually really good. Uh, pretty damn heavy. Uh, heavier than I might have been expecting. Because, I, like I said, I didn't know what path she took after Nightwish. I noticed a thumbnail there before it ended the, uh, for a band called The Dark Element. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard somewhere where she sings for that band as well. Uh, I don't know if that was a band she put together or if it was already a band and she got hired to sing for them or what. Let me know that in the comments as well. Another thing I wanted to mention too is that I noticed in this video that I don't know if she's trying to make a political statement or what, but the imagery is very political. Uh, I've always been of the opinion that bands or artists or even people who are in movies or who make movies, that they should probably try to stray away from politics because I just think it could divide your audience. You know, you can alienate some of your audience. Believe it or not, people on both sides do love music and they do love watching movies. And, you know, everybody wants to accuse the other side of being horrible people or something like that. But I don't... I don't buy that. I think everybody just has a difference of opinion and that most people's opinions aren't as extreme as other people like to make it out to be. It's all silly in my opinion. I'd rather just leave politics out of it. But uh, I did notice that about Annette's video that it uh, did have kind of a political theme to it. And then there was uh, some boxer girl. I don't know what, I didn't really catch what the story was on that. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that as well. But that, that song was really good. I really did enjoy that. Uh, her voice, like I said, seems better suited for this style of heavy music uh, that's not so symphonic. I still feel like her voice could be a little bit stronger. Uh, it does still have that kind of, you know, pop element to it, I guess, if you want to call it that. Uh, but yeah, it was, I mean, the music was great, so I'm going to have to react to some more of Annette's music, whether it's her solo stuff, which apparently this is, or if I'm right about Dark Element, I need to react to some of that as well. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. And again, I want to remind you all to please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. And if you care to support my channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. Or you can leave a tip through the Brave browser, which is a cryptocurrency browser. But donations to my channel are not necessary. They're not required. You can watch my videos for free. But any support for my channel is greatly appreciated. Thank you all again for watching my reaction to Annette Olsen, Parasite.